I did can't believe it. <laughs> I am so upset. Hi, hi, Edgar. Oh, what, what, why are you so? Why are you so grumpy? What happened? Oh, I, I'm just, I'm mad today. I'm mad. <gasps> what? But that's oh, that's I'm so mad. crazy. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. You don't want to talk about it. I see them kids on Cape Avenue. We're happy to spend this time with you. I see them kids, such a wonderful day to learn what the Bible has to say. I'm glad to see all my friends and to know that Jesus' love won't end. I see them kids, we're glad you can stay. Today's going to be a very awesome. Edgar, mm. you gotta tell me what's wrong so I can help you. I don't think you can help me, Dote. <gasps> what do you mean? I can try. Come on, try it. Try can it. You? Tell me. Tell me. Okay, okay. The, the, I was eating some crackers. Oh, that's so yummy. I love them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They were crackers. They were cheese crackers. Oh, cheese crackers? And then something horrible happened. What happened? They went out. <gasps> oh, yeah, that They're happens. Yeah, you gotta buy some more. I don't have any money, But you can, you can ask your mom or your dad, and they can buy you some at the store. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. think so? Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ask right now because oh. I'm too hungry. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. That's so crazy, Edgar. Well, howdy, boys and girls. I've got us another golden nugget. From the word of the Lord. Are you ready? All right. This one's found in Philippians 4.19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Woohoo! That's a powerful verse. It tells us that God has the ability to take good care of us and everything we need God can supply. It says, according to his riches in glory. According to his riches means what he's able to do. God is capable. He has endless resources and can provide all your needs. That's awesome. So you don't ever have to worry, boys and girls, about running out of anything. Because if you need it, God can supply it. Yeah! Called Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love, I believe in the sun. Show me your
Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then put it in the oven for baby and me. What's your name? Sally. Oh, hi, Sally. Wait, Sally, what's your last name? Middleton. Ooh, so fabulous. Sally, what grade are you in? Kinder. <gasps> oh Kindergarten, wow. That's so fabulous. Right, Pastor, that's fabulous. Oh, 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 what school you go to? 
New Harvest Christian Academy. <gasps> New Harvest Christian Academy. That's she's so fancy. She's in kindergarten, and she's a very smart student. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just talking to her, Dulce. She's doing a lot of schoolwork today. No way, Jose. But she took a break to come talk to you. <gasps> she's so nice. Thank you, Savvy. Savvy, Savvy. I have, I have some questions, okay? Are you ready for my question? It's, it goes like this. Ready? Ready? How big do you think God is? Humongous. Humongous. God is humongous. Super duper huge. Do you think God's strong? Yes. <gasps> like how strong? Can you show us how strong? Hmm. You got muscles? Oh, let's see your muscles, Sally. Hmm. No, she doesn't want to show her muscles. Oh, no, she doesn't want to show off. Oh, she doesn't want to. It's because she got lots of muscles. She has lots of muscles. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. very strong. But oh. God's super strong, right, Sally? Super yes. duper. Mm -hmm. Super strong. Oh, oh, I have another question. Another oh, question. Okay, Are you ready? Okay. Okay, okay. Do you think God's rich? Yes. <gasps> so that means that he can provide for us, right? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> You're so fabulous, Sally. Thank you so much for coming. You're so amazing and super cute. But, but and that's it. And I'll see you next time, okay? Can you visit us again? Yes. <gasps> wow, okay. Well, Sally, thank you so much. You want to say goodbye to our friends? Bye. Bye-bye. See you guys later. These doors are perfect for pranking people. They can't see us, but I can see them. Oh, look, here comes our watch. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> this means war. Oh, no. What did I do? Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, Hi. I am here with Hi. my friend, Michaela. Michaela, how old are you? I'm 10. 10 years old. What grade are you in? In fifth grade. And where do you go to school? New Harvest Christian Academy. New Harvest Christian Academy. Now, Michaela. Yes? We've been talking about how much God takes good care of us. Does he take good care of us? Yes, indeed. He, oh, yes, indeed. He supplies all our needs. So that must mean God's pretty big, huh? Mm-hmm. How big do you think he is? Big as the universe. Wow. Big as the universe. Is he bigger than me? Yes. He is? Yes. How strong is he? He's as strong as... Super strong. Yes. Stronger than anything, right? Mm -hmm. Even stronger than a brick. So he could take good care of us, huh? Yes, and he can protect us very well. Oh, did you hear that? He can protect us and provide for us. That's great. Well, thank you, Michaela. Mm -hmm. Will you come back? Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> thank you, Michaela, so much. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm messing with my flashlight. This is one of my favorite flashlights. Oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Right now, brand new verse here on Agape Avenue. You might have heard Obadiah with it already, but let's look at it again. Are you ready? Philippians 4.19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I love this flashlight. It's, every time I use this flashlight, Sister Paula kind of teases me because she says I look funny with it on. But this is one of those flashlights and it, it straps to your head like this. And what I like about it is no matter where I turn my head, look, let me put it on right there. I put it here in the middle. There we go. Now, she says I look silly with this on. But what I like about it is no matter where I turn my head, uh, I have light. See, sometimes I'm up on a ladder and running cables and some of those areas are real dark and I can't hold a flashlight and fix cables at the same time. So that's what I love about this flashlight. And then it uses those LED lights. So they're real bright for tiny little lights. They're very powerful. But there is a problem with any flashlight. What would happen if I accidentally left the flashlight on and I set it down and went home and I left my flashlight on all day and all night, what would happen to it? It, when I got back, it wouldn't go on, no matter, no matter, because 
it would have emptied the battery. All of a sudden, see this flashlight uses one battery. Look, let me show you. This is very nice, but it uses a battery. And batteries are convenient, but they don't always last a long time. So if you're not careful, your battery will run out of power. It has a limited supply of power. Let me show you this light right here. Look at this light. This is a mini stage light, but I have it hooked up. Look at that. When I hit that switch. Woo! Look at that, man. That's nice and bright. Now, what happens if I go home and I leave this light on? Will this one run out? No, because it's plugged into a permanent power source, an endless power source. This does not run out like a battery does. It is a lot of power and power that lasts a long, long, long time. As a matter of fact, as long as we keep paying our electric bill, it never goes out. Isn't that something? Well, that kind of reminds me a little bit about our verse. You know, right now, some kids are going into the grocery stores and they're looking at the, the shelves and some of the shelves are empty. And I know that there are kids who are starting to worry a little bit about that. And they're getting a little bit scared because it seems like supplies are running out. But as God's people, we don't have to worry about that because it says in Philippians, but my God shall supply all your needs. And God's supplies, well, it's like this power source versus the battery. This battery is us. We're limited, but this is God. He's limitless. God has no limits. And he loves us so much that he is ready and he is willing and he is able to supply all your needs. So we don't have to worry and we don't have to be afraid because God is not like this little battery. He will never run out. He has power and he has the ability to supply all our needs forever. And he loves you so much, he's never gonna let you go without. So you can put your trust in him. We are so happy that you're here with us today. Isn't it great to have them here? It was so much fun to have them. I'm so glad that they, they watched us today. We want you to know how valuable you are. They're very, very important to God, very important. And he loves you so much that he sent his son to die for you. Now, if you're here watching and you've never asked Jesus into your heart, it's very, very important. And it's also kind of easy. Now I have Pastor Paula here with me and we're gonna show you what you need to do. We're gonna say a prayer and if you will repeat this prayer after me, you're gonna ask Jesus into your heart and he's gonna wash away your sins and give you another chance. So I'm gonna pray. You repeat like Pastor Paula does. Are you ready? Let's pray together. You say, Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for coming to earth. Thank you for coming to earth. Dying for me. Dying for me. And coming back to life for me. And coming back to life for me. Now come into my life. Now come into my life. Please forgive me for my sins. Please forgive me for my sins. And send me your Holy Spirit. And send me your Holy Spirit. To help me. To help me. Live for you. Live for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For giving me another chance. For giving me another chance. And washing away my sin. And washing away my sin. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, you just asked Jesus into your heart. And you know what? If you did that, give us a message here at ICM Kids Online and let us know that you asked Jesus into your heart. Well, hello, Edgar. You got some crackers? I did. I got my cracker, Dote. <gasps> Thank you for your wonderful advice. And you know I what tried. we learned today, Dote? What? 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 
we learn that God is so big. <gasps> oh, yeah, and that he can supply all, your all needs. of our needs. Mm -hmm. that the, the verse says, but my God shall supply mm -hmm. all your mm -hmm. needs yeah. according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So God mm -hmm. is able to take good care of us. Isn't that fabulous? It's wonderful. He's so amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope you guys come back and you can learn more about our wonderful verse. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello everyone, we're so glad that you're watching our episodes. We love you guys so much, but remember, if you're watching us, make sure to take a video or picture and tag us at ICM Kids or ICM Laredo. Also, don't forget to hashtag us at ICM Kids. We'll be reposting your videos or photos on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> if you have any feedback or ideas that you'd like to see on Agape Avenue, make sure to comment them on our Facebook and Instagram page and we'll be doing them for you. Bye. Farewell. See you later. We love you. Bye.